fucking brilliant. Mm. Right? It, that, that, I never would have thought of that. Mm -hmm. But they would, because it's their life. They're the ones in the middle of it. Mm. They create their values. And, that's, and I think when I said you, there's this myth that you're not coming from a perspective, the other part of that is that you're really not. You are not imposing your values on them. Yes. Right? Yes. You are using a meta set of values. Right. To that, elicit their... To elicit their values. Yeah. Right? So that's the other half of that. Yeah. But myth. that's not innocent. It, and, it's, and it's not... It's not innocent it's, in the it, sense of like... It, yeah, it's it, like, it, like what you talked about, like with, uh, you know, what was it, Rogers. It seems like you have this choice or this choice. I'm sure you'll make the best one. Right, right. Where, where he's, and, and, you know, where he's indicating through nonverbals mm -hmm. the answer. Yeah. Right. We are very alert and aware about that. Yeah. Because we don't have the myth. And this is where, this is where that, that, that we're yes. not influencing them. Like we yes. understand that it's through our communication that they and are Hersler, getting the insight. Herschel really got to that. And that's where I think Heidegger missed out on Herschel. That, that all, every act of consciousness is an intentionality. That it's, yeah, right. Yeah. Right? It's the caring. What we care about determines what we notice. Yeah. And what we care about is fundamentally when we get down to the bottom as part of what I call the natural values, right? Mm -hmm. They are inherited values as human beings. Love, joy, and ecstasy, now, bliss, happiness, Now, here's pleasure, a question fun. I have for you. Is this... This is where I get a little tripped up here. Mm -hmm. See, Goethe, I fucking love Goethe. Mm -hmm. Like, I love Goethe. Um... There's a, when I hear you talk about natural values, when I think about it, I think about it's like the difference between versus inherited values. Like there's a, mm -hmm. there's a dam lake and a spring fed lake, right? Mm -hmm. That are the natural values that come up in human beings through our nervous system, okay? In the form of ideas, in the form of values, right? Mm -hmm. Is it the same thing that like there's a there's a symmetry to a leaf right there's a there's a that th th that's expressing that's expressing a kind of a, in a certain sense kind of almost like that's like a natural value being expressed the growing yes. of the tree and that, yes. that is what in from what i understand it gets a little bit hard to understand but what i understand in poetry right is that he's saying, he's going, when I participate in the observation of that, right, I'm able to lift the idea. What he said, and this is what I, what I think mm -hmm. he's saying, is, is like, I have evolved to a place where I embody a I being. I'm conscious of my consciousness, right? Mm -hmm. When I let go of my consciousness of my consciousness, and I put my consciousness onto nature, right? What happens is that the I goes over there and the realization of itself happens over here. That the idea or the value, the ideal of, that's blossoming that arises as the ecstatic, the aesthetic beauty of that which I'm observing. Right, so he's saying that, like, he's basically saying that, um, how I understand it is nature is like sleeping spirit, mm -hmm. right? It's innocent sleeping spirit, it doesn't know about itself. Yeah, so I have an opinion around that. Yeah. Right, and um, I think it's wonderful poetry yeah. to say that human being... Mm -hmm is nature or God's way of experiencing the beauty of existence. Yes. Right? Human beings can see beauty. Yes. Human beings can love and appreciate but in a particular earned. way. But that's but earned, But that's though. earned. That's right? earned. And this is the difference the between fact, a baby. He, well, well, a baby I, cannot I appreciate a symphony. Yeah, it know, can okay. hear the sounds, but it can't appreciate but the that, symphony. But that is earned, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, right, go, go. go. Yeah. 
Okay, but, the, but that it's earned is part of the nature of it. Yes. Right? Absolutely. That, that, that thing that's growing the tree is the same thing, right, that is driving that earning it, right? Yes. yes. And this is this that, is and that in And this is where Wilbur is so brilliant, right? Wilbur comes in with his quadrant. No, this it doesn't it doesn't fit, but so he comes in and he says, Look, you've got atoms mm -hmm. and molecules, right? And then they create these cells. Right? Or the the proteins. And then the proteins create cells and the cells create organisms and the organisms create more complex organisms. And as I like to say, until you get to the organism that goes, How is it that atoms form into molecules, into cells, right? Like the the, the organism that can ask that question mm -hmm. is an expression of that creative principle. Yes. Every cell and fiber of our being, every thought we think, everything we ever value is an expression of that fundamental creative principle. Mm -hmm. Right. In that sense, we are all divine. We're all full participants in the divinity that mm -hmm. sources and creates and grows the universe. Mm -hmm. Fundamentally, and, and we all participate in that. And that's where you and I are one. We're all consciousness. We're all that. But it's earned. Yes. You must have completed a lower level. can only evolve it, consciously. It, yes. It's, it's a developmental spectrum. Yes. yes. And it involves your conscious and, intention. And, and, and the, higher, yes. the higher you yes. are in the levels of development, mm -hmm. the more rare you are. Yeah. This is what he talks about, depth versus span. Yeah. Right? The the more depth you have, mm. the fewer of you there are going to be. Mm. Right? There are fewer molecules than atoms. Mm. Because a molecule contains atoms. Mm. There are fewer proteins than there are molecules. Mm. Because proteins contain molecules. Mm. There are fewer um, human beings than there are cells. Mm. Because human beings contain cells. And once you get into human consciousness, there are fewer people who have attained rational clarity, mm. then there are people. Mm. Because when you're a baby, you have to gain yeah, rational clarity. Becomes. And then once you've got rational clarity, mm. you can begin to question, interrogate the, what is what are the frameworks I'm using yeah. to understand reality? You can get to that yes. you know, question. And then it turtles all the right? way down. And, and then you can begin to notice, wait a minute, there is a developmental spectrum. Uh-huh. I can recognize that each level of that developmental spectrum is necessary and right and good. It's all part of this process. And because and I can recognize it, right, I can ask questions that will elicit the evolution of one into the other and do it consciously. Integral Institute, right? right? This is where you say, because I recognize that there are different levels of consciousness, mm. and because I recognize that it's developmental, I can catalog mm. where people are at and what the developmental process is such that wherever someone's at on that process, mm. I can offer them something, some experience that guides them and entices them and cajoles them and confronts them and structures it so that they can move into the next level. And we do that in our coaching all the time. Mm. We don't necessarily do it in an integral mm. framework, mm. right? And we, we do it, I'll, I'll say unconsciously in that framework, I do it you know, Game of Thriving is very much designed to fit into the integral framework for that reason. But there are patterns that are similar all along this journey. Mm. And we specialize in what are the patterns that just lead to the movement. And we can apply it at multiple levels. Mm. We specialize in people who are reasonably well-functioning, mm. right? who want to get more out of life, who are beginning to question how can I live a better life? Mm -hmm. right? yes. And especially people who are going, why do I care? Mm. What is this I? Mm. What really matters in life? Mm. Right? That's what turns us on. And so we're really good at working with clients like mm. that. Mm -hmm. right? But we're also, you know, it's like, okay, what do you want? <laughs> you want a better business? Let's work out. Great. Let's look at your branding. Mm -hmm. Let's look at your um, niche, let's look at your marketing, let's look at your sales, let's